Yeah, I know why uh, all of you are probably thinking like, what am I doing recording myself basically taking a video selfie? Well, tonight is a day that we in Canada have been waiting for for quite a long time. And so it's why I'm recording myself because I've seen a lot of videos these days where people react to moments of celebration and tonight will be no different. So. Greetings, people of the world. Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism, and tonight I am watching, after just coming home, the end of tonight's Toronto Blue Jays game against the Baltimore Orioles, first game of a doubleheader, and the Blue Jays are on the verge of winning the American League East for the first time in 22 years. It is the bottom of the ninth, and they are currently leading 15 to 1. After they scored five runs in the ninth inning, which is basically adding salt in the wound, but the Orioles are definitely not giving up without a fight. They actually have their first runner on base. They got a double out of it, but it'll be a, they'll definitely have to work hard in order to score 14 runs just to at least force extra innings. But yeah, uh, it's really great to be getting this opportunity to do something I do not often get to do, and that is show you some pure, unadulterated, raw jubilation. And for those of us who are Blue Jays fans who've been waiting 22 years for this, like, I know other teams that were waiting a lot longer to win their division or much less make the World Series, but for us who are living in Canada where baseball is not the sport of kings, where hockey has been that way for forever, seeing the success of the Blue Jays is very much a welcome return to sport in Canada, and it has given us, all of us a reason to believe in them once again, as they're about to clinch the division here. And for people like myself who've been waiting for 22 years, like, for someone like myself who has been a Blue Jays fan for as long as I've been following sports, um, this is pretty much a very happy moment for me, as I'm sure it is for all of us who are Blue Jays fans who were this was our introduction to professional sports because, yeah, the Blue Jays were my introduction to professional sports back in 1989 when they won their second division title. And so getting to see this happen again is definitely something that's awesome. I mean, the Blue Jays were obviously a very big part of my childhood given all the success they had when I was growing up. But after the strike year in 94, they just were not the same team and they failed in four very prominent ways that I'll point out here um, that they were not able to get a success. Okay, they got their first out, they still need two more. Um, reason number one was issues with the bullpen. They always seem to have issues with the bullpen, especially with whoever was the closer. Like, whenever the closer was coming on, you knew that it was going to get really nerve-wracking because the per whoever was in the closers role always seemed to blow the save and this was something that happened for years and years and just always was a big issue but this year not a problem they've been actually able to get a bullpen that's reliable and dependable they're still young so they can definitely develop and grow and mature but they're getting it done and that's what they've been needing to do for a long time um, number two, beating teams that are weaker than they are. Blue Jays have always seemed to have, over the course of the last 22 years, issues with beating teams with a worse record than they have. But, and yet, somehow, that has not been the case this time around. They're actually beating teams that are weaker than they are, especially their greatest, ne what has been seemingly their greatest nemesis since this team joined the majors in 1998, the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays have always given the Blue Jays a hard time, but yet this past weekend they swept the Rays, and the last game, which was the Blue Jays' last home game of the season, was in come from behind fashion, so they, are, they got that done. Um, reason number three, beating teams in interleague play, beating teams in the National League, this is something that the Blue Jays always struggled with. And I mean always struggled with... Oh! Well, I guess you can't win them all, but... Ouch. Well, Baltimore just scored, but... It's not, it's not like it was off of a huge hit to 
left field. And it's not like the defense wasn't trying to catch this one. They almost got it, but just missed it. But the, they should be able to stay in good shape. Oh! Just went right off of the edge of his glove. Like, react a quarter of a second faster, and he would have had it. But yeah, even, even though they're still ahead by 13 runs, it doesn't mean that they're not giving it their all, which they are. We, now, back to reason number three. Beating teams in interleague play. The Blue Jays have always had a hard time beating teams that were in the National League. Like, this was always a problem for the Blue Jays in past years, but not so this year. They beat teams that they've very heavily struggled against before. They beat the Braves. They beat the Marlins. They beat the Washington Nationals, which, when they were used to be in Montreal, always gave the Blue Jays a hard time, and still were when they moved to Washington. Um, they beat the Phillies. They did what they had to do with those guys. And they also beat the Mets. So... That was the third big thing that they've been able to accomplish that they have not been able to accomplish over the course of the last 20 years. And number four, and this is probably the biggest one because it was especially true earlier this year, and that was trying to maintain momentum after a prolonged winning streak. Blue Jays all time went. The Blue Jays all time record for their best winning streak is 11 games. And they've done that a few times. They did it earlier this year, but then they just struggled mightily to maintain the momentum. And it didn't take long. Like, pretty much within a fortnight, their first 11-game winning streak was pretty much negated. It was just reduced to dust. It was reduced to nothing. And then they finally were able to actually prove that they could uh, maintain the momentum this year. And the strikeout. One out to go. One out to go after a strikeout against the Oriole. They had a real struggle in regards to maintaining the momentum. They got a second 11-game winning streak, but unlike the previous 11-game winning streak, they've actually been able to keep the momentum going because not only did they be able to keep a winning record, but they then started to go ahead of teams that were in their division. And finally, earlier this month, because it's still September 30th, they were able to get past the Yankees, who were leading the division for a long time, and now they are well and truly ahead of them, as we're down to the final out. So yeah, those four big things that were going on that the Blue Jays could not seemingly do over the course of the last 22 years, they've been able to finally get over the hump and accomplish all four of those things. So... Suffice it to say, I am very happy to see that they've been able to exercise their inner demons and that it's only a matter of time before we finally see them accomplish what they have not been able to accomplish for so long. Did you check his swing? Yeah, he, he did. Alright, so, yeah, obviously because um, we're basically Stephen vlogging, styling this, we're not going to show you what happens. We're just going to show you what happens when I react when they win. But, yeah, they're showing pictures of all the guys in the dugout. They're basically waiting for the moment to happen. And it won't happen here. That was in the dirt. Yeah, they've given the ball to a guy that they brought in as a free agent from the Chicago White Sox, Latroy Hawkins. Um, he started out as the initial closer this year, but uh, he was he's a really old guy. They mentioned he's 42 years old, and so because of that, he really hasn't been able to get as much um, pitching as he was as he would like to. But because the lead is as high as it is, they've given him the opportunity to try and finish this off like he had wanted to when the season started. So, basically taking the opportunity to show... Yeah, they've been showing off all... They've been showing off shots of the team since I got back. Um, David Price, one of their acquisitions before the trade deadline from the Tigers, who used to pitch for the Rays and was definitely a thorn in Blue Jays' size while he's wearing a do-rag there. Okay, full count. They've been showing... Um, shots of the Blue Jays general manager, Alex Anthopoulos, who, as opposed to the previous, who he, he, who he succeeded, 
um, was definitely an improvement, but it seemed like his teams that he was putting together always let him down. Like, what perhaps the, my biggest skepticism was when the Blue Jays made a massive trade, a massive couple of trades at the end of the 2012 season, but they were taking players from weaker teams, and I was really worried, like, these guys aren't going to work out at all. Well, most of them are gone. The only mainstay has been R.A. Dickey, um, the pitcher from the New York Mets, who was the Cy Young Award winner in 2012 in the National League. And for the first two years, like, he, and even for the first half of the season, R.A. Dickey was pretty much what I expected him to be, which was a one-hit wonder. But for, for some reason, I don't know how, in the second half of the season, he's found himself, he found the form that he had in New York, and he's finally put it to good use. And so we're, we're, we're glad to finally see the real R.A. Dickey, the one that the Blue Jays traded for all that t long time ago. Yep, it's over. We won the division. On a, on a check swing foul, the Blue Jays win the division, and they're finally celebrating! We're finally celebrating! At long last! Oh, and yet the crazy thing is, this is not the last game they have to do tonight. They still have to play again. <laughs> I mean, they'll, they'll celebrate for now, but finally, after 22 years, the Blue Jays have won the American League East, and so I... <laughs> Yeah, Anthopolis getting hugs from all over, the bullpen's jumping in. Yeah, they, they can't afford to go crazy just yet when they know that they still have to play another game. Yeah, and someone holding up a sign that says, FINALLY! <laughs> I mean, obviously, and what? Okay, David Price has like a selfie hat on. He has a camera on his head. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, people do crazy things when you're celebrating, but, ah, ah, 22 years, like, I know by comparison, those of you who may be in Chicago, who are Cubs fans, and you've been waiting 108 years for your team to win the World Series, like, I, I know this pales in comparison, but, like I said, when you're in a place that doesn't have the love for baseball as much as America does, Seeing something like this is definitely, and is for sure, worth it. Yeah, they got Blue Jays um, fans holding up Canadian flags now. Oh, I, I can only imagine how awesome of a video we'll get to see from David Price when he finally posts it, posts it perhaps on the Blue Jays official website or on YouTube or wherever he posts it, but it doesn't matter. We, we did it. The Blue Jays have won the American League East, for the first time in 22 years, and I'm glad that you guys were with me for my reactions to seeing history, and hey, there's even Expos fans! And people wearing Expos jerseys that want to be a part of this, because yeah, we, on we only wish that Montreal was still in the majors, we, s we hope that they will return to us someday as a major league city, but right now, it's all about Toronto, and it's all about the Blue Jays. And who knows, if uh, if they keep, are able to win the Division Series, the Championship Series, and who knows, they could even win the World Series. You'll definitely be seeing more videos of me reacting like this, and the reactions will be um, not limited to a sigh of relief, but of much more exuberant jubilation. So, thank you everyone for watching this special video, and... I hope to see you all again once I start getting back into doing Let's Plays. So, until next time everyone, this is Matthew and Avora Autism saying take care and I'll see you soon.